All right, Pickle. I'm checking the watch. It is Tuesday, which means it's Map Tuesday. Math Tuesday. It's Math Tuesday. Math Texas Tuesday. Oh, oops, we're running it again. My bad. Um. No, we do, I mean, you can just run that <laughs> over and over if you want. It's Math Tuesday where we dive into the numbers and tell you a little bit about math. So let's talk a little bit about uh, the Texas high school football playoffs. And we probably – I've got a piece coming up on TexasFootball.com today as soon as I get done with this show. We probably take for granted the, the how difficult it is to win a state championship in Texas. Because in the 11-man Texas high school football world, each bracket is 64 teams, which means that you have to win six consecutive playoff football games to win a state championship. That's Six. True. That is four more than you have to win to win a college football national championship. Mm-hmm. That is two more than you have to win to win a Super Bowl. That's true. And it's one more than you have well, to win. Yes. Yes. It technically could be three. I yeah. mean, it could be three more if you have a buy. Yeah. I'm, I'm giving it the most. Yeah, generous. the buy. It's at okay. least I got four, you. Got it's you. at least two, two more than, than to win a Super Bowl. And it's at least one more to win an FCS national championship and one more than you have to do. You have to win to win a Georgia or Florida state championship. Um, it's a gauntlet. Six consecutive playoff wins is hard to do. That's a lot to like keep you composed too right you know what i'm saying like that's six do or die games that you're (laughs) and each can each week it gets tougher Tougher it gets tougher tougher, and the spotlight gets brighter and And brighter a lot of those kids it's the last time that they'll ever play this sport right like (laughs) it's a lot they don't get to decide when they just retire here you know (laughs) it's a lot and so but but not every program is created equal when it comes to playoff performance there's some programs that are obviously better than others. For example, uh, would you care to guess? Um, there's a number of teams that I'm trying to look. I want to look this up. What is the most number of team or playoff games without a win? Um, uh, I mean, there's there's a handful of them. I mean, Fabens, for example, is two and twenty-four all time in playoff games. Wow, two and twenty-four, right? Um, that by district uh, curse. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's one. In fact, I think they've, I think they've lost something like twenty straight playoff games or something like that. Um, and even really good programs uh, have like a sub five hundred record when it comes to playoff games. Mm-hmm. For example, think about think about Jasper. Okay. Think about how good Jasper has been over the course of their their history. Yeah. They are under five hundred in the playoffs. Wow. They're forty eight, fifty one, and two all time. Wild. Um, uh, Frisco, uh, San Saba. Under 500, right? Um, a lot of really good programs that do not have a winning record in the playoffs. So we want to dive into this. And I want to look at which teams perform the best historically in the Texas high school football playoffs. We're going to measure it three different ways. We're going to start with the most basic measure, which is how many playoff games have you won? We're talking 11-man UIL history. How many playoff games have you won? And maybe you know this answer. Have you looked at this? Did you look at the graphic? What? Of who, who the, which program has won the most playoff games? Oh, yeah, I looked at the graphic. Okay, you looked Sorry. at it. Uh, it might surprise you, but it is the Refurio Bobcats. Refurio has won 135 playoff games, which is kind of remarkable considering they made the playoffs for the first time in 1946, which means that over the last 76 seasons, they average one more than 1.7 playoff wins per year. Not playoff games, playoff wins per wow. year. Wow, and so 76 years? They're basically averaging the regional semifinals yeah. every year. That's nuts. Um, which is pretty great. To win two playoff games, essentially, every year is is, is crazy. Mm-hmm. Mart is next. Katie is next. Then Southlake, Carroll, Highland Park, Alito, Salina, Converse, Judson, Austin, Westlake, and Quero. And those are the only 10 teams that have 100 playoff wins in their program history. It's uh, it's those 10 teams. They have 100 playoff wins. But at the same time, this is... And so you could say, oh, well, Refurio is the greatest all-time playoff team. And and there's an argument for that. Uh, I think 135 wins speaks for themselves, and, and those numbers are pretty overwhelming. But I also think that it doesn't necessarily... It, 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 we got to dive a little bit deeper because 
think about the fact that Refurio has been around for a long time. Uh, Mart and Katie have been playing football for a long, long time. Highland Park's been playing football for a long, long time. Um, so, but so it doesn't necessarily tell you how good they are. It just tells you, uh, th- you know, that they've won a lot of games and that they've been around uh, for a long time. Mm-hmm. You know, like like for example, of on that list, um, I believe it. Yeah, it's Quera. Quera has the worst winning percentage there. Now it's pretty good. It's oh, hundred. Yeah. It's one hundred and thirty six and and one. 100, 100 wins, 36 wins, losses, and one loss or one tie. But, you know, all that says is that really they've been around for a long time. Not necessarily that you they are. You can tie in a playoff game? They, or, or penetrations, basically. Actually, that's okay. not true. Highland Park has, of that of those 10, they have the lowest winning percentage uh, at, at 689. They've, they've won 115 out of their 177 games. Yeah. P- a penetration right. win okay. or loss goes as a tie, basically. So... Let's take a look at winning percentage. So which teams have won the highest percentage of their playoff games? And this is a little bit interesting. It's a much different list. Okay? Much different. At the top is Lake Travis. Lake Travis is 65 and 13 all time in the playoffs. They've won 83% of their playoff games. That stretch in the early 10s really helped. Now, that that run that they went on from Uh 2007 to 2011 when they won five straight state championships. We think about, we marvel, oh, five straight state championships. That's remarkable. It is. Also consider the fact that that means they went 30 and 0 in playoff games over the course of five seasons. 30 and 0. If you take that away, they're still pretty good, 35 and 13, but they're not nearly as dominant as this is. So really, Lake Travis, by virtue of that playoff run, that certainly helps him. Next up is a pretty a relative newcomer, mm-hmm. Alvin Shadow Creek. 14 and 3. They've been around for four seasons. They of yep. course made it to a title game in 2018. They lo- uh, and, and lost. They won a title game in 2019. And then they lost to Denton Ryan. And then they were in the yeah, they or yeah, they lost to 20 No, they lost to 2018 and to to Ryan. Ryan. 2019 they won the title um in in 5A Division 1. That's not right. Yeah, it is. They they lost in their first Did they Oh, they beat Ryan? Yeah. Correct. Yes. Oh, yes, yes cuz Jatavian yep, dropped yes, the that's right. pass. So, is that right? Did they win? I was there in 2019. Which one? Do I have this backwards? 2019 was my first one. I do I have this backwards? I think no, so. you're right. They lost to Highland Park in 2018. Yep. They beat Denton Ryan, Ryan in 2019. Yep. So I did have that right. I think. Okay. Anyway, whatever the case <laughs> is, they're 14 and three all time. 823. Next up is Brock, and it's easy to take Brock for granted, but remember that this is a program that only started in 2014. Mm-hmm. So with an 820 winning percentage, Brock is is third. Then you get into the teams that have been around a while. Katie, Alito, South Lake Carroll, uh, Denton Geyer, Denton Ryan. Denton Geyer has a very slight edge as far as uh, over Denton Ryan in, on, in that metric. Uh, Salina. And then there's a very interesting one here at the bottom, Katie Pato. Yep. So Katie Pato is the defending 5A Division One state champs moving up to Class 6A this year. They're 7-2 and two all time. They've been around the same length of time that Alvin Shadow Creek has, mm-hmm. has been. But they did not make the playoffs in their first year in 2018. 2019, they made the playoffs. Then 2020, they made the playoffs. 2021, they won the state championship. Mm-hmm. So they got their six playoff wins. Six of their seven playoff wins come from last year. Yes. Now, that means they were one and one coming into that. That all came in 2020. You may remember they won their first round playoff game. Mm-hmm. Then they had to forfeit their area round playoff game to New Braunfels Canyon. Yes, because of COVID. Because of COVID. Yes. So... Pato even comes with a little bit of an asterisk. Now, there's no guarantee of what happens if they play Canyon. Right. Right? But certainly one of those losses is a forfeit loss. Mm-hmm. And BJ Gott will be the first to tell you, would have been the first to tell you, that um, they could have rolled in that 2020 yeah. season just as well. Yeah, exactly right. So that's particularly interesting there with, with Katie Pato. They're pulling up the 10th spot uh, at 7-2. and two. But, of course, one of the things that I think is, is not necessarily fair here is like, look, Shadow Creek's 14-3. Well, they've only played 17 playoff games. Right. Right? Compared to South Lake Carroll, Carol. who's played 150. Yeah. So here's what I want to do. is I want to take it with a minimum of 50 playoff wins. Okay? A minimum of 50 playoff wins. There are 81 programs that have won 50 or more playoff games. 81, 81. programs wow. that have won 50 or more playoff games. Um, and in fact, uh, this probably shouldn't surprise you. Let me make sure of this. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm fairly certain. Let me make sure of this. Yeah. All of them have a, uh, a a winning record. Not to be surprised. Not no surprise there. Right. They all have a winning record in playoff games that they have. Uh, they've played. Uh, you know, if you have one fifty games. Oh, that's not true. There is one Hondo. No, I'm sorry. They've got five twenty three record. They they've all won the majority of their playoff games. Mm-hmm. 
But if you min- if you take it with a minimum of 50 wins, this is the list. Lake Travis, Katy, Alito, South Lake Carroll, Denton Ryan, followed by Salina. And then you get to some teams we haven't seen before. Argyle. Right. Argyle's 54 and 16. Now, they have not been around all that long, Mm-mm. but they meet that Which metric. Which is wild to think about. <laughs> they meet that metric of 50 playoff wins. I believe they got it last year. No, yeah. they went enough. Maybe they had 51. Go- I think they won three games last year. Yeah. Permian is next, then Mart, and then Austin Westlake there at the, at, at the 10th spot. So, if you're asking me the question, who is the best Texas high school football program in the playoffs? I think mean, it probably has to be like Travis. Yeah. Um, they... They part made of all is, three lists. Yeah. No matter how you're looking at it. Part of it, part of it is that they are they've been there. But I think Katie has a great argument as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe they are third all time in playoff wins. Uh, and then they, you know, you look at this. They are second on this list. They are they're I think fourth on the other list. I think Katie has a great argument mm-hmm. to be made. Um, I think, uh, but I think right now, if you were to, if you were to put a sports gun to my head and say what is who was the best playoff t- uh, team in the Texas football mm-hmm. team in the playoffs. I probably have to go with Lake Travis. Mm-hmm. Well, and but to, Lake Travis or Katie are probably my two answers. To have a point in time where you are able to win five state championships in a yes. row speaks wonder. Right, that is. <laughs> like, I mean, you're talking about dynasty territory there, rather than just you know maybe overall program greatness. But they they do it almost every year. Yeah, exactly right. So in any case. There, there it is. Uh, a little bit of Math Tuesday for math you. Math Tuesday. Um, to see what uh, and and to take a look at what the greatest teams in the Texas high school football playoffs are like. So, I'll piece up on TexasFootball.com. Hey, thanks for watching this clip here on YouTube. If you like this kind of stuff and you want more of it, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, you can watch us live every weekday at noon at TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, or here on YouTube. And if you want more of the best coverage of football in the state of Texas, check out TexasFootball.com and become a Dave Campbell's Texas Football Insider at TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.